okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's you. Is that you? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara if you're new. Today is my 33 week pregnancy update or bump date. Um, I'll be showing you a bump shot at the end of this video so stay tuned for that. So if you are new we are having a baby girl. She is due March, her actual due date is March 24th but she will be in before that because we will be induced. I will leave an iCard of the previous updates. I've been doing them since 16 weeks, I think. Not weekly, but um, weekly since I think 24 weeks. Anyways, I will link that above and leave an iCard at the, or a card at the end so you guys can go check those out. If you are new, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like videos like this. And let's get started. So Maverick is playing, so if you hear him in the background, I'm sorry, but he is having a good time with his toys. So baby girl is the size of a butternut squash. She is about 4.25 pounds and about 17 inches long. So she is huge. Um, I said last week that I got an ultrasound. I'm getting weekly ultrasounds because I have gestational diabetes. So she is a little bit bigger than that according to the ultrasound, but um, yeah, those are kind of off sometimes. So total weight gain, I have gained 16 pounds so far. Um, how far along are you? I am 33 weeks, I already said that. Maternity clothes, I did go to Target today to see if they had the leggings and they had a sale on like jeans and stuff. Um, they had a sale on jeans and like some winter sweaters and stuff. But I only have like four or five weeks left so I'm not gonna spend like a ton of money on clothes. Um, and they did have some shorts um, out too. So it's like they were kind of purging and getting ready for spring stuff. So, um, I didn't buy anything. I went for the leggings, the really high leggings, just because I feel like that's what I'm going to live in these last, um, several weeks. So, but they didn't even have any of those. I was like, it was kind of a joke today, but, um, the target I went to is usually kind of like that, but stretch marks, no stretch marks yet. My belly button is really stretching though. How are you sleeping? And I'm not. Uh, I have a cold, like, I feel like Maverick and I have been sick like on and off <coughs> since November and I felt like I was getting better last week. And then this morning, well last night, I just started getting super congested like in my nose. I ran a diffuser with, um, on guard and what else oh lavender i should have put some peppermint in there but um i don't know it didn't really help i just feel just really congested i've just been getting more and more uncomfortable and if you know if you've been pregnant you know what i'm talking about but um i'm just getting really really tight like i've already said this a million times and then my back hurts and it's just hard to like once i get positioned and get comfortable I'm okay but then after that it's just like it just it just takes me forever to get comfortable and also last night I couldn't breathe and I don't know this isn't gonna be like a positive update <laughs> there's really nothing positive <laughs> best moment this week we got to see her on the ultrasound today um, they had to do it really quick because I had a one-year-old with me and um, she just kind of speed, speedily went through it, which I totally appreciated. Um, and she got a picture of her face. Her hand was kind of in her face. I'll put, I'll put a picture up if I can remember, but she looks exactly like Maverick did on his 4D stuff. So I will show you guys that if I can remember. Missing anything? My body. I just hate saying this because I wanted to be pregnant so long and I wasn't, but I just want my body back. Like... I'm so excited for her to be here and I'm so excited to be pregnant and I'm so grateful for this pregnancy and this baby but I'm just getting really uncomfortable so I miss my body movement um yes she's moving she's moving um there are, she definitely lets me know if she's not comfortable um she has since I could feel her move through this whole pregnancy, I've said she's wild and crazy, um, but she definitely lets me know if she needs me to move. Food cravings, um, nothing really. I've drink, I've drank a lot of milk, which um, I can have like a certain amount of milk. I don't know. I, I feel like I've craved milk this week. It's kind of weird. I've been taking my prenatal and everything, so I don't know. 
Um, it's kind of weird. Symptoms, um, I can't, I have trouble like peeing. Like I have to pee all the time, but I have trouble like getting started peeing. Um, and I really didn't have that trouble with Maverick. I don't know if she's like, it's because she's bigger or what, but I, it's like I have to sit there for a while before I can pee and it's the weirdest thing. Other symptoms, still just having like the back pain and the polene. Um, I think that's about it for symptoms, pregnancy wise. Oh, I did notice that my nose, my nose looks a lot bigger. I've been FaceTiming like my husband and um, like when you see yourself in a photo or whatever, you're like, oh my gosh, my nose is ginormous. I don't really notice it on here, but it is bigger. <laughs> Belly button in or out, still in, but it is definitely stretched out. I'll show you guys. Wedding ring on or off, still on. Happy or moody, and I've just been kind of mellow this week. I just want this cold to pass. Like, I've been trying to do, I've been taking vitamin C. We're taking like hot showers to drain our noses and everything before bed. Um, what else? Trying to get enough rest, lots of water. Um, if anyone has any suggestions, let me know. I've been, like I said, I got a diffuser. I have been diffusing on guard. So if you can hear Maverick, he's real chatty tonight. Yeah, so I don't know what else to do. I, I just want it to pass. What are you looking forward to? Oh, I want to add to the best moment too. Um, Maverick, I don't know. I've just been kind of showing him my belly recently. And um, he's right here, so that's why I keep looking down. But... Um, and then just saying like baby and I need to look up some things on how to like prepare him a little bit better. What are you looking forward to? And just having this baby and um, getting to meet her and um, my last couple weeks have been kind of about the nursery and getting that all ready but um, honestly just meeting her. I have kind of a crazy story. When Brian and I were picking paint, we were on our way to the store to get the paint and I was looking kind of last minute decisions, you know, about the color and I was looking on Pinterest and there was this beautiful picture of, um, I picked the Target, like the nursery decor theme, um, it's called Floral Fields and I had picked that, um, so I went into Pinterest and I found it and there was this beautiful photo of this like crib and everything and so I clicked on it and it turns out it took me to Instagram and I was like oh my gosh I loved the paint color that went with it so I went into this girl's um, Instagram and luckily it wasn't pri well it wasn't private but um, I started looking through her stuff and it was from the actual photo was from 2017 come here baby I'm bribing him with food. So the actual photo was from 2017. So I went and I started to look through her feed and stuff. And it turns out that she lost that baby at like 32 weeks. And I had been like, I don't know. I kind of got way too into it. Like the paint color and is it going to match and the color of the crib and all this stuff. And it was kind of crazy. I don't know. I feel like it was kind of like a God moment. Like um, it doesn't matter. You know, like it was kind of like wake up, it doesn't matter. Cause this girl, um, she had the whole nursery done. Like everything was done. And um, it was so crazy that it, that I was led to that. It was so nuts. Um, but yeah, I started looking through her feed and it turns out she lost that baby at 32 weeks. And at that point I was like, last week I was 32 weeks. So it just kind of recentered me. Like the nursery doesn't matter. Yes, it's fun to decorate it, paint it, all that stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I just want a healthy, happy baby, a healthy, happy home. Um, and I just feel for that girl and I was going to message her, but I don't, I don't know what to say. She's since had another baby. I could tell in her pictures and she has two other sons, uh, or two sons, but, um, yeah, she just, she lost that baby girl and it was just like, wake up. It doesn't matter. So anyways, that was just kind of a story for me and I'm surprised I made it through that without crying because I was like. I just kind of lost it on the way to the paint store. It was like, what are you doing? Like, it doesn't really matter. Yes, it's fun to do, but re like reevaluate the priorities here. All right, I think that is it for this pregnancy update. I will show you a bump shot 
and then we'll move on to next week. So like I said, I'm going to the doctor every Monday. I'm getting an ultrasound and a non-stress test. She looked good on the non-stress test today. It was a little bit hard finding her. Um, the doctor did say on my ultrasound they saw that I have extra fluid, which can be a complication of um, gestational diabetes. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. Um, we had to sit there for an hour for the non-stress test just because she was, was hard to find her um, today on that. She looked great on the ultrasound otherwise, um, moving around and kicking and all that stuff. So, um, and doing her breathing. I think that's so crazy how they practice breathing. It's, it's so weird to see them like practicing their breathing, but, um, yeah, so that is kind of the update from the doctor, um, my meds. So she did say that my sugars are kind of starting to trend up a little bit again, which is normal. I mean, not normal, but, um, as the placenta grows and all that stuff. I'm, I haven't gone on into that stuff, but anyways, um, she said I could add a pill at night if they start to get a little bit worse so that my fastings are lower because um, they are starting to trend up again. So that's an update on that. Oh, and the other day, so I went to church on Sunday and I had taken my pill the night before, taken my pill in the morning and I ate a granola bar, that's all I ate before church, and I um, was standing in church, like it was almost over, and I just got like, I got dizzy, I got like seeing stars, it was just kind of a scary, scary moment. So I ended up leaving, um, they have a lot of security at our church, so they um, have the doors locked where the kids are until, you know, until it's time for them to go, so nobody's going in and out of there. Um, but. I couldn't get Maverick, so I just sat down out in the out, like right outside his door, and um, I just got really sweaty, and I could tell that my sugar was low. I didn't have my glucometer with me because it was in his diaper bag, so I couldn't check my sugar. Anyways, I finally got him and left, and he had some um, goldfish in his bag. That's pretty much all we had for snack. Um, so I ate a bunch of goldfish and I felt better, but the rest of the day I just fought like, I just didn't feel good. So it was kind of a scary situation. I'm like, what if I pass out out here by myself and that like outside of the sanctuary? I was like, ah, this would be so embarrassing. Who's going to take care of Maverick? It was just like, um, kind of nerve wracking. So I hope that will never happen again. I need to make sure that I get my protein in the morning. That's really, really important. Um, you know, at least an egg or um, something just to keep me keep me leveled out. So yeah, I hopefully won't have, have that happen again. So I'm gonna show you a belly shot. Sorry I look like really horrible tonight. I don't feel good. I wanna just go to bed. It's 6.30, I still need to feed Maverick. I just, uh, I am ready for bed tonight. But I'll show you a belly shot, and don't forget to subscribe if you like these. I post every single Tuesday now, so um, we will keep you posted on baby girl and when she will come and um, our updates on the nursery and all that kind of stuff. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like, and we will see you next time. All right, so here is baby girl, 33 weeks. She is definitely popping out. Is <laughs> he the baby? Dear. Is that your baby? Oh, your baby. Give her a kiss. Oh, yeah. I love you.